Hey YouTube, it's Alicia here, and I wanted to come and recap um, WWE's Night of um, Class of Champions predictions results. We're gonna be talking about it, and so, we're gonna be talking about some of them and some of the percentage-wise what I have talked about. So let me just give you a little um, some info about um let me give you a little bit of an info about how i recap videos now when i recap um like wwe um a big um wrestling event shows that they have like wrestlemania and think um when i recap i because i don't have it i actually go on the website and look at pictures and I look at videos off their website and I also look at videos off of YouTube that they have already posted so yeah so we're going to get started so let's get started and oh my god what next right so let's talk about let's talk about the intercontinental Triple Threat Ladder Match. Um, Jeff Hardy versus AJ Styles versus Sami Zayn. Y'all, I'm going to say this, and y'all know me. Um, I'm going to give my opinion and just be open-minded to my opinion. Now, with that is this Intercontinental Triple Threat Match. Um... Jeff Hardy versus AJ Styles versus Sami Zayn. Um, um, I'm going to say this, and I'm going to try to say it in the nicest way. Um, I don't think um, Sami Zayn should have won. I actually thought AJ Styles probably would have won the title back and everything because it was a lot of drama over the Intercontinental title belt and everything. But y'all, if y'all want to know more about this, you um go and check out um my Men Edition um WWE Men Edition um video because that's where I actually break this particular storyline down. So I had said with 25% that it's a 25% chance that Sami Zayn was going to win and 50% chance that Jeff Hardy will contain and 50% that um AJ Styles will win. But I was very shocked to see that um Sami Zayn um won. Do I feel that he's um deserving of a title uh of that title? Mm, I don't know because all the drama that he caused when he came back and everything, I really would have wanted to see Jeff Hardy with the title belt or AJ Styles. So that's my quick um, opinion. So let's go on. And we're going to have, before I go on, let me talk about, let me um, get some notes that I'm noted. Um, as you all remember, they did announce Bailey versus Nikki Cross. Um, um, that particular match didn't happen, but it, something did, a different match kind of happened. So I will get to that. And it was um, Naya and um, Shayna Baszler was supposed to, um, Go up against um, the Riot Squad. But due to some, um, let's just say Nikki Cross wasn't cleared by by medical personnel. Or Nia Jax or Shayna Baszler was also not cleared. So that's what I'm getting from Pro Wrestling Unlimited. So we're going to see where that goes. Okay. Now we can move along with the um, matches. So let me, I want to come and I want to talk about the Street Profits versus Adrade Serenaris and Garza. So I had told y'all if, um, originally I had told y'all if Adrade and Garza had, um, 
I gave you two predictions on this. Um, the first, um, the second prediction I said, if Andrade and um, Garza was gonna go at it, it'll be a forty percent chance that they'll win. But if I said if it, they didn't, then for both teams, it would have been 50-50. And I was um, pretty happy with the outcome that none other street profits contain their title belt. Um, I'll give it to them. They're pretty good. Um, so then I had, um, so I'm going with the ones that I did put percentage bonds and then some I didn't. So let me just explain that. Okay. So then we had Oscar versus Zelina Vega. And I told y'all it's a 40% chance Vega probably will win. And then I said it was a 90% chance that Oscar would contain. And with my surprise with that 90% chance of being right, oh, Oscar ended up winning. Now, afterwards, um, Vega was a sore loser. Um, I have to say that because she's bitter and think, and she's getting another rematch tonight. So we're going to have to see where that goes. So then I need to talk about the hurt business and I need to talk about Bobby Lashley who came out with, um, MVP, Apollo Crews who came out with none other than who, drum roll please, Ricochet. Um, these guys put on some pretty good matches and think and I actually thought uh Apollo Cruz would have um regained his title. Um that's what I probably would have wanted to see. That's what if I was Vince McMahon, I would probably put that title back on Apollo Cruz, but he didn't. Uh it's still on Bobby Lasley, so we're gonna have to wait and see where that go with the U.S. title belt picture. But we did have a couple. We uh, So we did have um, another smack, um, a SmackDown tag team titles. Um, you got um, Kazara and Sisuke Nakamura versus um, Lucha House Party. You know, I thought Lucha House Party had, had an upper hand going in and thing. And the two, they end up wrestling was Lorado and Carly Stump. They actually they showed off. I actually give them credit what credit is due. Um but I was kind of upset that they didn't I just thought with 40% that it was um that since gay and Cars and Carzaro was gonna lose and 70% that um Lucha House Party was gonna win but um, overall, that was a pretty good match. I'll give it to them. They actually showed it, showed up, and showed out. All right, so then we, I have to come and talk about this, um, this match that was a 50-50 match, and that was Randy Orton versus Drew McIntyre. Drew McIntyre pulled out the stops. Y'all, when I mean he pulled out the stops, he had Christian, everybody who, um, Randy Orton has attacked. They all came out. And they helped him. <laughs> and one of my favorite moments that I actually, when I went back and I was looking at it, and I go, that's Shawn Michaels. Shawn Michaels on top of the ambulance and giving him the Shawn Michaels super kick. Let's just put it that way. I had to laugh and giggle. I was laughing and giggling. I had to hold my mouth because... And so it was just so funny. I was just laughing my butt off. So yes. Okay, where am I? Okay, so let me come. I'm gonna come back to Roman Reigns now. Let's talk about. Okay, so as y'all know, um, Oscar, um, Bailey, um, Nikki Cross couldn't pay. Wasn't cleared to wrestle. So, um, Bailey's like just running her mouth, and then she says something about Oscar. And so Oscar said, "Let's do this." And stuff, and like the, we end up giving. I said we're gonna get a two, and like some of the people thought we was gonna get a two belt, um, Bailey, but no, the match ended up ending with a disqualification. Yeah, but then what made it so good and everything is, oh, uh, and I want to say I'm gonna do it. 
this is why I had to say, smack your lips, y'all. Smack your lips. Smack your. Just give you, give yourself a smack. Give to eat a snack or take you a drink. Cause this was this was some juice. Seeing Sasha return and attack Bailey. Oh my God, Bailey got what she deserves. And I'm gonna tell y'all, the only person that probably would I would say would be a good person to dethrone, um, to dethrone Bailey would be Sasha. But to me, um, to to where we can do that, I actually will say is, um, Nikki would need to have her title um defense first before Sasha could get go go after the title belt. Because I'm gonna say like this, if they could do that and get Sasha a title belt and let her hold that title belt. And give her a long reign. Y'all, y'all know how I am. I've been saying it on this channel. If we can get that, that'd be a good thing to see. So then, y'all, we got Roman Reigns versus Jay Uso. Now, this one, I couldn't put a percentage on it. It's one because I put undecided because I didn't, I really did want Jay to win. But I, I in the back of my head, I kind of knew Roman Reigns was going to win. But I was very surprised that Jamie was there. Like I said, I, I said, Naomi or Jimmy needs to be there. And I kind of predicted that Jimmy Mills going to be there. I, I couldn't believe it. But I thought the the show, um, overall, Class of Champions was good. I was very disappointed that we didn't get our other two women matches. Um, Bailey versus um, Nikki Cross or um, Nia Jax and Shayna Baszler versus... Um, um, Liv Morgan and Ruby Riot, the new uh, Riot, um, um, on the new Riot Squad. Even though it didn't happen, I hope we can win sooner or sooner or later, or at the next pay per view, we end up getting these matches because I think we do deserve to see um, Nia and Shayna versus Liv Morgan and. Um, Ruby Riot because like I said, Liv, Liv and Ruby um deserve title belts opportunities. But I want to hear from y'all. And the question of the day is, what did you thought of none other class of champions? And um what did y'all thought of and tell me what the, um what match was um between the two female matches that we did not get which one were you very disappointed that we did not get? And which one did you, at a future date or sooner, you will want to see happen? So, y'all, I'm Alicia. Don't forget to thumbs up this channel, thumbs up this video, comment below, and subscribe.